Good morning, good morning. Happy Friday. We are live Friday morning on the morning drive to work. Woo. All right, I hope this thing stays set where I have it. I'm trying to test something out. All right, y'all. What's going on? Real quick, like I said before, happy Friday. We're going into this weekend. Hope you all had a successful and productive work week. And of course, like all of us, we're, we're, can't wait for the weekend probably to rest and we probably even have some more productivity for this uh, weekend that we have to get, uh, get through. However, just wanna drop a, Real quick nugget, you know that I've been I've been I've been thinking about for a little while. Um, first, but before I get in that nugget, you know, I'm sorry I haven't been posting too much. It's been a lot of stuff been going on. Uh, I applied for my LLC, um, and I uh, it was accepted a, a few weeks ago. So we've been working on some things. Ooh. We've been working on some things, um, you know, as far as getting the business together and as far as, um, as far as getting the business together and, 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 and getting, and getting stuff straight. So, you know, hopefully there's going to be more news coming about that soon. However, I'm going to just drop a little nugget that, that I've been, that I've been chewing on for a little bit and it's called the, the, uh, the Smith Wigglesworth mentality. The Smith Wigglesworth mentality. Now, first I gotta kinda give you a little background on who Smith Wigglesworth is. Uh, Smith Wigglesworth is a, is a gentleman who um, was uh, from England in the early, in the early 1900s. Uh, uh, please excuse the, the very bright glare as, as I am driving to work and everything, so. Um, that you see hitting the side of my face. So, but um, who was a gentleman um, from the early 1900s? Uh, he was a Christian. He, by all intents and purposes, was what they would say a prophet, a prophet of the Lord. And um, he was a very what how people described him was he was a very intense and rough man. However, he had he was so full of compassion uh, for people it was ridiculous, but he didn't take any junk from anyone, but he was full of compassion. So it's almost kind of oxymoronic, you know, putting those two words uh, together, saying that, you know, he didn't take no junk from nobody, but he was a per person full of compassion. But um, that's just who he was. Um, however, <clears throat> there's an interesting story about Smith Wigglesworth. He had this uh, a peculiar mindset or what some of us would call a peculiar mindset. Smith Wigglesworth would not allow newspapers into his house. Newspapers. Smith Wigglesworth would not allow newspapers into his house. The only book that was allowed in his house was the Bible. This is his reasoning. He said, he says this, he says, the reason why he doesn't allow them is, is because the newspapers are full of lies and he only accepts the truth. So if anything that you are bringing in is not the truth, it is not allowed in his house. So basically he gave you the option. Either the newspaper could stay in and stay out and you come in or you could stay out with the newspaper. Either way, the newspaper was not coming in to his house. Now, why is that so significant? The reason why that is so significant is because what are we doing with our thinking? Are we letting the lies stay out? Are we letting the, the, the negativity stay out and only, and only focusing on that which is the truth and only focusing on that which we believe that we can do and putting our efforts to? Are we letting the, the people who, who are saying, man, you can't do that. You can to come in and have a voice and say in what we are doing. Or are we going to make sure that those things and those peoples and those words that are saying those things stay out? 
what what is 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 what is is your mentality going to be like? Where are you going to draw the line on what you let in? It was this year I had to draw the line on what I was going to let in. And the thing about it is most of the stuff I was letting in was coming from me. So I had to draw the line at, man, I don't know if I can do this, man. What if this person says no, man? What 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 if 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 I don't do well on this and 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 everything else of that nature? Well, now I'm to a place and I'm working on getting to that place where I'm saying, yo, that stuff has to go. that stuff got to go. That stuff has to stay outside. That stuff can't come in. And even if it tries to creep in and I feel it trying to keep creep in, that means I have to uh, continue to move forward and I can't let that in. See, sometimes we come to a place where where we let our thoughts, what other people think about us affect what we do. Uh, and and how we do it affect our 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 dreams affect our ambition affect what we do our our what we say our grind because you know folk laugh at us our friends laugh at us because they can't see they can't see what we're doing they can't see the full vision they can't they can't uh, 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 understand why we are doing it how we are doing it but we see it. So when those things happen, you have to keep those things outside. You can't let those things come inside because that is not the truth. The truth is, is that you are very well capable of doing anything that you put your mind to. Consistency is key, right? We all talk about, we all talk about, uh, uh, we are, should I say, we all hear about, oh, the grind, the grind don't stop. The grind don't do this and do this. Don't lie on the grind, bro. Don't lie on the grind. Because if you lie on the grind, the grind will reveal itself. If you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. So whatever you do. Whatever you do. Do not. Do not. Let. The lies in. Don't let them in. To your ear gates. Don't let them in to your eye gates. Don't let them in to your spirit. Always the truth. And what is the truth? In this situation, in this case, the truth is what you are shooting for, what your goal is, what your goals are. And remember, this is going to be one of the things that are key. Make sure you keep refreshing your goals. Because what will happen is you'll reach your goals and then you'll just drop it. Never be content in your goals. Always have a goal, but never be content in it. Make sure once that goal is, okay, what's the next thing I can do? There is no such thing as just completing your goals. The only time your goal should be completed is, 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 is when you die. I have dreams, I have goals and, that I am searching for. I'm not there yet, but no one ever starts, starts at the top. No one ever did. Only God started at the top. But, you know, that's my quick piece. Having the Smith Wigglesworth mentality, don't let the lies in. Only the truth. Only that which helps fuel your passion to your future, to what you want to do, to who you want to help, to that which, to uh, those people who you want to be a light to. That is what's going to happen. That's 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 your truth. That's the 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 truth in your desire, in your grind, and in, in, in everything that is pushing you right now. And then that's just been for me. I'm like, I gotta have the Smith Wigglesworth mentality. No lies inside of here. No lies inside of here. No lies inside my house. No one is allowed to speak anything negative. No lies. If, if anything negative comes from me. My wife is quick to shoot it down. No, you will not do that. You are great. You are. If I get down on myself, I have a partner and vice versa. If she gets down on herself. I'd be like, no, you are great. You will do this. So forth and so forth. So, so we're doing this. Even in the midst of, uh, of myself, uh, uh, I'm starting the application process for my PhD. So no lies. Nervous out this world. I don't want to say scared. But I'm nervous out this world. A PhD is the, it's the next it's the next step for me now. No lies. The Smith Wigglesworth mentality. Anything that says I can't or I shouldn't be doing this, it's gotta go. 
the Smith Wigglesworth mentality. Let's make this synonymous. You may not know who he was. You may not have ever heard his name. You may have ne never read a book of his. You may have never um, <coughs> read a sermon of his. However, this is a true story. Excuse me, a true account of him. Don't let the newspapers in. Don't let the lies in. Only let the truth in. All right? And this is just, you know, a quick little a little something, probably one of my shorter ones. Just reached here to work. And um, I love y'all. This is uh, Vicar Speaks. I'm coming to a venue near you. All right. Make sure you you email us if you're interested in, in uh, me coming out and doing any type of uh, event presentation uh, for you. Uh, give us a call is on our, our Facebook page uh, on our Facebook page and um, our website is coming soon. So um, I hope you enjoy this. I'll be posting a lot more often now that I got a couple of things up and going. Um, so if you if you want to, that's VickerSpeaks at gmail.com. And the number is 386-334-2812. All right. So I hope to be hearing from from you all out there. Um, and, you know, hey, remember Smith Wigglesworth mentalities. No lies. All truth. Later.